today I and my needle doggy we went off into town. I got an email from Waterstones telling me about their new uh, Read for Ukraine scheme where they've got a number of publishers and a number of authors to put their books up to sell and all of the proceeds go towards the Ukraine appeal. And so I thought, okay then, I'll, I'll go over there, <laughs> I'll buy some books, I'll get booked into Miracles Beauty Salon uh, for a few couple of things just for me, and, and I will buy some books. And, and I just thought I would come on here and tell you that if I'm honest, I never ever saw myself going out and buying ordinary print books. Um, but you know, things like the Seeing AI reader and KNFB reader and other things that read books out to me had made it possible. So, you know, take yourselves back from to about like 13, 14 when you're dead cheeky and you're driving up and you drive your parents nuts. Um, to be honest, your you just wake up in the morning and your parents really drive you bananas because every single thing that they do is annoying. Yeah. So, so think back to that time uh, when you were a bit cocky and I was talking to a fellow blind person and, and he gans and says, do you know what, whenever I've had a really bad day, and I mean like a really bad day, what a day, what a day is that I find one of them Bible bashers that are standing in the street shouting about Jesus and that. And what I do is I walk right up to them. Like right up to them. So they think I'm going to walk right into them with my cane. And I stand there right in front of them. And I say, do you have that leaflet in Braille, sir? Because <laughs> the one thing I can be pretty damn sure of is the fact that they will not have anything in Braille. Or large print. And it tends to make them feel so terrible. Because their morality says that they should have it. And it makes them feel terrible. And I know it's wrong, but it makes me feel great. And <laughs> this is terrible. This is terrible. I never imagined myself going to Waterstones and buying an ordinary print book. But when I was younger and I heard that, I, I felt inspired. So <laughs> even though I took part in a play as a um, leading star as a bully, and, and the moralistic line of this story was, if you're having a really bad day, you still don't have the right to go out and be horrible to someone to make yourself feel better because that's bullying and that's wrong. But even though I had that in my background, like in, in my head, I decided, you know what, I'm having a really bad day. So I'm going to go to Waterstones and I'm going to have a go at someone for not having real books <laughs> or, print, or large print books just to make them feel terrible. P.S. guys wasn't worth it she you know she quite clearly told me that if, if I wasn't gonna if I wasn't gonna um be respectful that she was gonna ask me to leave and if I didn't leave she'd phone the police so you know good honour to a certain degree but it is still frustrating that we still can't seem to get any like you know pr appropriate the aged educational books that we actually need like AQA science or, or you know, geography or, or any, you know, the ordinary schoolwork stuff and university stuff, automatically in accessible formats. Um, <laughs> so RNIB library is important to look up because they have a scheme for those of you who are libraries and are, a, a, you know, a, associated or affiliated with an educational facility um, because then they get publishers to deliberately automatically sign up so that every book they get goes to the RNIB library but anyway that is a side on what I got today was I got this book which is it's entitled strangely it's about tractors of Ukraine a brief history of tractors on the in the Ukraine and I thought, what a boring title. <laughs> I genuinely thought, what a boring title. But it's meant to be a story about family. So I am going to read that 
Then I went a bit crazy, guys. Then I got this one, which I think is Doctors Without Borders. Apparently, it was a really big seller about two years ago or a year ago. So I got that one. I got about I got this book about trees. So if you love nature, there's this this book about trees. And um, it's about the secret life of trees. In the description bar, I'll put all the titles because I can't remember what they are at the moment. And then I got a history book about the kind of the queer movement, the LGBT kind of milestones of history. Because um, I thought it, it's important to read up and to, to be more knowledgeable. So those are the books that I got. And, and that's just what I wanted to share for today. I really do wish that you have a really good life and time. Um, live your best life and I'll see you later.